It's time again for another Start Your Engines event for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're doing another Start Your Engines event and this one should be number 9, which would be really good if we can. Now we're going from a real simple one, same as last time but the opposite direction, Pescara to Roma. So last time we did Rome to Pescara. Uh, so back the other way should be really simple, trying not to get any kind of infringements, which would be really good. And um, guys, don't forget, if you want to see the rest of the videos for this series, then in the description there is a link to the actual uh, playlist, so you can check out the uh, first one right through to the last one that we'll be doing for this event. Now, if you don't know about this event, then please check out number one in the playlist, and that will tell you all about how to actually go about doing this event. It's really simple. Right, so let's get on the road. We'll get this started and get going. Uh, jump inside here. Uh, tug test. We need to do tug test, don't we? Yes, we do. There we go. There is our tug test. Making sure that our trailer is attached. Of course it is. We know it is in game. But uh, just making sure that it really is for sure. For sure, for sure. Car coming. Let him go past. And uh, sorry about that little Pantech van thing. We sort of went on the wrong side of the road there. I do that quite often. <laughs> oh man, you've got no idea how many times I jump in the uh, real truck and try to drive on the wrong side of the road. That's embarrassing, that is. The guys at work all say to me, What are you smoking? And I'm like, Oh. <laughs> It happens. It happens. And thank goodness I haven't actually uh, gotten in trouble by the police for doing it, which would be really embarrassing. So there's stop there and flick the range down and away we go. Now a few people do ask me, what is that shifter? Or what's that clicking noise that we hear uh, during the video when you're changing gears? That is, if I can... <laughs> go straight uh, that is the uh, SKRS shifter that I use um, it is basically um, looks the same as an Eaton Fuller shifter in a real truck only it works for the game Amer American trucks and Euro trucks so it's really good if you wish to get one uh, you can go and just google SKRS shifter and you'll be able to uh, find that shifter so it's really good uh, it is, it is, a lot of people say to me, oh, it's a bit expensive. I say no, it's not really. It is worth the money, especially if you are looking at driving a real truck or you do drive a real truck in real life. Um, I, I think that it is actually definitely worth it. So, and uh, I've gone and made my, uh, co my cockpit at home as realistic to a truck as I possibly can for the moment. Uh, one day I might get out and buy an actual real truck or a half a truck or maybe a full full cab of a truck and then put a you know do it up so that you can actually uh, have a real steering wheel real truck steering wheel real indicators all sorts of stuff like that going in it um, that would be definitely something I'd have to show you guys but not yet. It's gonna. That would cost me a lot of money to do that. I reckon about ten grand to do that. Be very, very interesting. No, still too low. There we go. Now split it. There we go. All good. And um, here we come to that roundabout again. Watching the trailer and the mirror. 
I noticed is that I actually came across a truck driver who did not give a rat's ass about his trailer in the mirror. And uh, <laughs> he seemed to have cut the corner and he went over the top of the roundabout with his trailer. So <laughs> that happens here in Australia. There's Barry. Bazza. Good old Bazza. A little bit of a hill here. I wanted to get in the right gear, which I didn't quick enough. It's all right. We still made it. Ah, oh, you stupid son of a gun. Always get the damn speeding fines. Always in this game. Drives me nuts. How can people drive in Europe with all these offences all the time? I'd lose my license really quick. Not to mention it's so tight, not much area to manoeuvre. Oh, look at that lake there. The river, sorry, that looks great. I think SCS do really good job with their scenery. You know, they really spend a lot of time making their scenery look extra special, and, and I really do appreciate it. I know that the graphically, gra you know, graphics wise, um, this game's not the the best, but really the following that they have, they're not really interested in the highest end graphics. There, most people are interested in uh, the gameplay that I've noticed. So, um, all the people that love the high end graphics go and play like the you know latest games and stuff like that. But um, you know, I I seem to believe that the you know. Uh, people who, who enjoy driving trucks. This is the simulator to have. It really is. Euro trucks and American trucks. That's where it's at. Terry, Tur Turney, sorry, not Terry, Turney and Roma. So we're turning off here and going to Roma. Here we go. Nice and easy. And then around here. There we go. Perfect gear for going around this corner. And it's just sitting nicely. And now down and here we go speeding again slow it right down <laughs> they're not going to get me uh, make sure that we're going through at a nice speed thank you very much and then away we go and uh we got 124,000. We might be able to buy a new new area soon, like a new uh, new garage. So I'm hoping we can, and I'm going to go for London, I think. Go for the London garage, and then we can uh, work from there on another place after that. Because once you once you get one, and you get another. And then it starts, you know, the money starts rolling in once you start getting more and more trucks. The more trucks you have, the faster your money moves. So, um, so yeah, you got to keep that money coming in. There we go, cruising along nicely. Got 126 kilometers to go. Really, really simple. Let's uh, jump out and take a photo. Well, after the bridge, we'll take a photo. Because uh, otherwise we'll get that bridge in the road. 
And the car, when the car passes, there we go. There we go, nice photo. Should be able to take a nice photo in here. There we go, and there's the turny sign. You can see in the background as well. Get rid of the blur. And Kona, Pescara. It's actually not a bad photo, that. That's, that's actually really good. There we go. I'll just take one like that as well. Very good. And then we've got another toll just up ahead. Awesome. Just what we need. <laughs> Spending more money. And is that a toll? Yes, that's a pay fast. There we go. Ooh, ooh, that was close. <laughs> oh, I've only hit it once and I messed up the truck pretty good, so. There we go. Cruising along nicely. Nice and simple drives. That's what this is about. And um, so I'm hoping that SCS bring out an American Truck Simulator event soon when uh, maybe they bring out the new DLC. I'm hoping that they bring out one then for American Trucks because uh, I really feel that American Truck Simulator is getting, you know, uh, not getting as much attention as what it deserves. And it's almost like that bastard child just, you know, neglected and left, you know, on its own sort of thing. Doesn't get as much attention as the, as a, as it should. But anyway, you know, I know that a lot of the um, fans on Junior Senior Gaming, we love American Truck Simulator. And we'll keep it going. Um... And when Australian Truck Simulator comes out, we'll keep that going as well. Because we love that. We'll love that, I'm sure. One day that'll come out, I know it. And uh, that's going to be really cool when uh, we're out in the outback driving along. Ah. Oh. Cruising around, nice. There's that bridge again. We saw it last time. Some nice scenery. And uh, that's it. 60 kilometers or 59 kilometers to go, so not very far. So these 200 kilometer um, little stints are actually really easy to do. Uh, no, I'm not going to bother with fuel. We'll get fuel next time. We've only got 50, 50 kilometers to go now, so you can see that the time does kick over quite quick with this. So, Alt Station is that uh, fuel station, I guess? N, the big N. What's the N stand for? Oh, look, there is a Lamborghini look at that a Lamborghini police car that is my very first Lamborghini police car that I have actually seen in the game no mods that is it that is awesome look at that I've never ever seen a Lamborghini police car while I've been playing this game so very cool um, uh, you know what I'm gonna stay in that lane because that is the fast lane wonder if the Lamborghini has to pay the tolls as well and yeah he's going to let him in so we're going to cut down here and try and sneak in 
You gonna let us in, mate? Yeah, you're gonna let us in, aren't you? There we go. It's your little sneaky. <laughs> Man, if you did that in real life in Australia, you'd get a lot of a lot of flack. People get really upset at you. Is that an achievement there? Achievement progress. Interesting. Napoli. And uh, what have we got? Roma just up ahead. What's the big target symbol for? And there we go. See? 14 kilometers. See, so easy. This is so easy, this event. Really is. If you, you can still do it, guys. If you haven't started, you've still got time to do this. You know, even if you just knuckle down, you can just go crazy. I reckon you could easily do this in two days. And there's some people that have, many people that have told me that they have done it in two days. So, really simple. All you have to do is keep finding those 200 kilometer ones and you're home free. Uh, if you know how to use the dev console, it makes it even easier because you just keep teleporting around until you find a 200 kilometer one. And then from there you, you know, you just go and do your delivery. Really easy. So that's all you need, 200 kilometers per city. Nice and easy getting around here. Look at that. These roadways are actually uh, really weird, but anyway. And there is our destination. We need to be doing 40, not 55. And uh, there we go. Just up ahead is our destination. Two kilometers to go. And that will be number nine. Wow. Three more to go. That is really, really easy. And there we go. Just so at the roundabout, we're turning right. And then we'll be there. Love it. I love it. Still got a speeding fine though. It's a pain in the bum. Just around here. Oh, there's a little lunchbox there. And where is the driveway? Right in there. Look at that. And it looks like it is around the back. So let's go around the back. And dodge all this stuff here. All this crap. No, no, no. We don't need the uh, parking assistance. Thank you. We can do this. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Let's see if we can hook this in with one go. I don't know if we will be able to do it in one go, but we can get it damn close. Look at that. And just swing it a little bit over. Get those rear wheels in the right direction there we go and I'll straighten that up why not it's a little bit crooked there we go straight back and there we go that's that's fine 
Let's have a look at that from the outside. That'll do. Not perfect, but it'll do. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even line it up with the dog, did I? <laughs> oh, well, there we go. That is an excellent job. And that is 10 grand. Very good. See, little bit by little bit and you get there. And there we go. That is number nine. So we now have three more to go. That's easy done. Easy done. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the this well today's little drive that we did for the uh, Start Your Engines event. Definitely uh, one to get into. I mean, you get all those little bits and pieces that you can add to your truck, which is great. Uh, love those little ornaments. And I've got a space specially set out for this truck on there so I can put it the little ornament figurine thing. That'd be cool. All right, guys, if you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.